I think one of the more impactful scenes when you're when you're going through the timeline and you're starting to see the weight of the world on Maguire and you see Sosa, you know, kind of leaning into it. Sammy's like, I've been waiting for this, you know. And then you they have that joint press conference. You just see a different Mark Maguire than you've seen for the past couple months because he's like, there's someone else going through this and <laughs> this guy kind of likes it. Like, it was a little bizarre. I was going to ask... I haven't made a documentary. Was it yet? On, yet. <laughs> um, <laughs> was it on your dream? Did you want to get them in the same room together to kind of see if they could do that? Or, and what what else was kind of on your dream board when you started this that maybe you were trying to do that couldn't come together? Because I, I don't know, with that when that scene came on and those two guys are in the same room, you're just like... You felt good for Big Mac for like the first time in it because he he looked relieved. Yeah, well, when we started um, talking about this, it was 2017, and the home run chase uh, 20th anniversary was going to be coming up. You know, the next year. So um, I thought, well, maybe there's going to be an, a some place where these two guys are together. You know, like that there's a reason for them to um, be in the same room. I kind of didn't want to do it myself. Um, so I. Just, I I, every time I thought about how I would do it, it just felt really stagey in my head. Um, so I, I, I thought like, well, if it happens for some other reason, and then we get like the other footage, like if they do an interview, but we're getting the footage of them getting mic'd up and re like seeing each other for the first time, that would all be great. But that, you know, it just, that never happened. I wanted to hear them each individually to see if their perspectives were the same, if they had a different memories, different experiences. One of the interesting things is so many people talk about that, that, that they felt like that McGuire's whole demeanor changed, you know, when he and Sammy were together and he would see like Sammy having like the time of his life, um, basically. But I think also you have to remember that for Mark, he always really set, you know, 50 home runs by September 1st. Like, I'm not going to even deal with this until we get to that point. Uh, and by the time, you know, he and, and Sammy are uh, playing in, in Chicago, you know, they're right there. They're at 47. You know, they're almost there. And then by the time, you know, they're back together in St. Louis, you know, it's, it's clear that this is going to happen. It may not happen during this series, but, um, you know, Mark's at 60 and, you know, he's, he's going to get there. And so I think that that was made it a little bit lighter for him for a moment because he, he really felt like he was going to going to set this record um of course then it like picks up to a different thing because he doesn't know if he's going to have the record at the end of the season and uh i when he you know he talked about that you know in, in terms of just the realization of like oh wait this isn't over like you know if, if it would have been if no one's chasing him he might have taken a bunch of days off you know or just played like just come in to hit and you know, be a pinch hitter um to, to like rest they weren't going to the playoffs you know like it had been a hard season um, but he had to keep going. That was one of I my think, favorite parts <clears throat> of the whole chase was at the end when Sammy finally went ahead of him. And here's Mark saying, I just put everything, my heart and soul into this. Yeah. I broke the record, but so did this they other guy. They had a guy. ceremony. He's like, I can't be a, a footnote. I got to be the guy to see him like come back and then just go on a tear. You break a record, well, then all of a sudden you have that realization. I got it. Like you said, I got to keep going. And then he does, and then he tries to sit out the last game, and LaRusse is like, uh, no. And then he hits two more. Like, what a feeling that must have been. Just like, boom, boom, boom. Some of my favorite footage in the film is uh, is Mark uh, realizing that uh, Sammy has gone ahead of him on that Friday night, uh, yeah. last last weekend of the I've, I'd the never season. seen that. Yeah. I'd never seen that shot before, and it was incredible because you can see him do, like, a triple take. Yeah. What? <laughs> What? And then uh, go. he just bends down and he goes, <sighs> yeah. okay, got to keep going. I mean, <laughs> I, 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 I never seen that shot. It was awesome. I'm a self-proclaimed baseball snob. Love the best highlights, love all the best players. That's who I am as a baseball fan. So when I look back at the record-breaking home run, I wanted a majestic homer. Yeah to break it so we could see him trot around the bases. I mean, he missed first base, which is an iconic shot. Oh yeah, no, he wishes it was like an upper decker. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I mean, who knows what would have happened to the ball, but uh, yeah, he definitely wishes- That's true. He definitely wishes that it had been like one of, the, one of those like crazy, crazy shots of his. Because 90% of them were that. 
Yeah. The moonshot, no doubters. And then here he is trying to leg out a double and missing first. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, there's very few of his home runs that are just over the wall, even in, uh, in Bush Stadium, like hit into the upper deck in the outfield is, is uh, insane. Uh, yes. Truly.